Okay, so we still have lots of work to do here. Um, here we're in the device make file. And remember, we, uh, we cut the bottom of this file off. So let's go ahead and get the rest of that back. Go to our uh, Eureka Black device make file. Let's copy all this stuff down here. And let's put it into our make file. Now we're kind of a little more set up and ready to deal with some of this stuff. And probably about time to do that. We'll move this into the old folder here, just get rid of it. Um, so let's get back to our, our device file here and take a look at what we're gonna do. Now, you don't necessarily have to declare everything uh, for a device to work. Um, let's see, I'm gonna put to do on all these categories while we talk for a second here because um, we're going to have to look at each one of these. But the more stuff you put in here, obviously, the more stuff that's going to work. For instance, you could have the, the phone boot up without audio and without the camera. Um, you probably can't have it boot up without the display. So um, when you're building a tree from scratch, you may have to look through these and kind of whatever template you're working off of and decide what you want to put in there or not. Obviously, the less you put in there, the less that can go wrong during building. <clears throat> Excuse me. The more uh, focused you'll be on your errors that you have. However, um, obviously, the more you put in here, the more functional it's going to be provided. The stuff you put in here works. The key is finding, making sure you find the right stuff to put in here. Um, it's it's rather helpful for us because we're taking two very similar phones. So we're going to be able to take a lot of the same material and hopefully it's going to work. Um, and we'll just have to see. But right now we're looking at, uh, you know, um, what's here in this device make file. So we've come to the end of the file and let's take a look at this Wi-Fi for a moment. If we look at the Wi-Fi, uh, you see in our, uh, you know, donor device, it has a Wi-Fi folder, it has a bunch of files in here, configuration files and that sort of thing. Um, we're going to take a look here on the web and say what, uh, what Wi-Fi is in our system on a chip. And some error there. Okay, so we know that our system on a chip that we bookmarked here has this built-in Wi-Fi. And what's great about that is the donor phone that we're borrowing from this garlic, this Eureka Black, has the same system on a chip. So it's gonna have the same Wi-Fi, or at least should. <clears throat> now, it may be that there's some setting or something. So we'll just copy this folder. We're gonna paste it over to uh, our block two move that into the old to get rid of it. And so now we have this Wi-Fi folder. So how do we know if it's going to work or help us or not? Um, the big way is you see that uh, these files are being copied and these packages are being built. Um, now, obviously we won't really know if it works until we test it and then we know it works. Uh, but we can take a look at these files and see if, if that, you know, is at all useful. So we go to our blue phone that we downloaded the whole system and we can uh, search for any of these files. So for instance, we'll just pick one that's wcnssconfig.dat. We'll just hit the search button, we'll look for it. And there it is, pops right up. So. We open that item location, we see system, et cetera, firmware, wireless LAN, uh, Prima. And let's see, what am I looking for here? Um, yeah, let's install Diffuse. Can't find Diffuse. Why can we not find Diffuse? 
Um, Diffuse is a really useful program. Uh, and I don't have Aptitude installed on this machine either. So let's install Aptitude. Um, so Diffuse allows us to compare two different files to see if they're identical or the same or what's different line by line. And it uses, you know, color codes of red to show that it's different and green to show where it's good. And so, um, you know, really handy programs. So let's search Diffuse. There it is. Why didn't it work the first time? Oh, because I misspelled it. Okay. So let's get this Diffuse up and running here so we can take a look at that. We're going to be using that quite a bit. So let's open with and find another application. Show another application. Let's find Diffuse. Oh, well, this file is uh, not really readable, human readable. Let's find one that is. Um, here we go. FSP man I and I. So let's search for that file. There it is. Open with Diffuse. So now let's open up in our where we're working. The same file and we see they're identical. Notice that there's no red there. Um, so these two files are exactly the same. And that's really handy to know because this Wi-Fi should be the same on both of these devices since they have the same system on a chip that provides the Wi-Fi. So I think in this case, we can we can just take this to do away and use that just as it is. So um, essentially, that's what we're doing. We're going through. We're figuring out how do we get the files that we need. Let's jump into boardconfig.make and look for Wi-Fi in here. So to see if that also needs to be changed. And since we're just using all the same Wi-Fi stuff, let's just take this to-do out and use that.